Today we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wilds and today we're gonna be doing some hunting here in Yukon Valley. I have my muzzleloader with me. We're going to be mainly hunting with the muzzleloader and today we're gonna be scouring Yukon Valley for a trophy grizzly bear or a caribou or whatever else we happen to find while we're out here hunting. So let's get at it and let's see what we can find in Yukon today. Now I'm a little shocked by the amount of moose that I'm seeing. It is actually their feed time and there is just a pile of moose out here. Everywhere I turn, there is another feed zone for moose. So right now I am hunting in the Brightwater Flats and there are piles of animals on the top. But guys, let me know in the comments what your absolute best trophy from Yukon is. And if they were to add more species to Yukon, what animal would you like to see added to the map? And definitely stick around right to the end of the video. I am gonna share a keyword. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel. Now let's continue. Now let's see if we can't take this moose down with the muzzle. Loader. He's not, is he not dropping? <laughs> That's not him. Oh, and there's geese over there. Look at that. <laughs> Apparently I didn't get him. Well, gonna have to pay more attention to my zeroing. We're not off to the greatest of starts. All right, let's go find some caribou. All right, I take it back. Our moose has gone down, so let's go see. Maybe it just took him longer to kick the bucket. And I did get a vital. All right, now we're talking. I tell you, you gotta pay attention to that hunting pressure, but with the muzzleloader, oh, there's caribou. Anything big? Even when you spook them, spot every single one of them, because you never know when you're gonna find that level five. And some of them gotta make diamond once in a while. Caribou are terrible for trolling. So with the muzzleloader on moose, we are getting a low bleed rate. So that means he is gonna run quite a ways, but the muzzle loader is good from class three all the way up to eight with both of the ammos. And there he is hugging a tree. How you doing, my dude? You went for a very, very long run, but he's pretty nice for a three. Not bad at all. We did get a right long and he ran pretty crazy far. So we got a perfect shot. Beautiful. How far did we run? Almost 300 meters. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's get back out there and see if we can't find a sweet caribou or grizzly. Okay, so I have a tent right here above the railway track and this area is amazing. It's amazing for all kinds of different species. Grizzly bears, red fox, caribou, lots of harlequins, moose. It is really an amazing spot. Probably more species than just that. And we have a couple pretty nice caribou in here. But if you guys are looking for all the very best spots to hunt for every species in Yukon, I just put out the Yukon Super Guide. I will leave the link for it below the video. Definitely check it out. I really like the rock of the one on the right. So I'm gonna see if I can get a little closer and if we can take him down with the muzzle loader and see how far a caribou will run. Oh, he's a split rack. Now I think the maximum I can zero with the muzzle loader is 200 meters. It's gonna get a little closer. Now, of course I can't aim above him, which I might have to do. Oh, it's a five medium. I didn't even notice that. Well, he's definitely not going to make diamond. He is a guaranteed troll. Holy, I was just looking at his rack. That's hilarious. He can't even score above 400. No way. I'm gonna guess this guy's gonna score about 370 and that is pretty sad for a level five. Let's see what he's gonna score. And splat! He is down. Now I probably should put a tent on the other side because getting over there I literally have to run down here to cross the river and come back. So I think I'm gonna do that. But not right now. I don't have tents on me. Now I do have the Zarza 308 on me. So let's see if we can take down a few just for fun and for a little bit of cash. Oh, I think I only got one there. That was kind of sad. I think I hit the same one twice. <laughs> Not my best work. Come on, lady, get it together. But this is the one we took with the muzzle loader, and it absolutely did not obliterate him. What's with the penetration? It barely. Well, it actually says it went through and got liver, but it definitely doesn't show that. That's a little strange, but I'll take the thousand dollars and run. And that is a level one female, $839. And yeah, when I went to shoot the second caribou, I nicked this guy and we missed. Okay, here is our very tiny level five. So he is definitely not symmetrical, but he definitely has the starting <laughs> antlers for a diamond. Let's have a look. 383, that's not bad. It's just almost 50. 
50 points under diamond. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. Okay, now with the muzzle loader, we got insane penetration. So that is much better. Went right through them. That is a pretty funky rack. Not even in the ballpark for diamond. I don't know. Is it his weight that makes him a level five? That is one sad level five. What are you going to do? Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to run this side of the river and see what we find. But first, I'm going to set the time back because caribou drink from four until eight. Okay, we have another herd of caribou and this one has a pretty nice trophy rating. So I'm thinking he's probably going to score right at the bottom as he is very, very spindly. But these guys can sometimes score pretty well. Technically, he is diamond potential. No chance this guy's going to make diamond. None whatsoever. But let's test out the muzzle loader on him. How you doing, my dude? He didn't drop that time, but we did get a vital. Perhaps he will come back bigger. You know what's funny? This guy will score more than the last level five that we just shot. His bottom number is more than that troll scored. And this guy is a level four. Makes a lot of sense, right? Okay, well, he definitely did not go far. Not at all. But yeah, he has the double shovels. He's just very twiggy. And he is a 389. Isn't that interesting? Well, I do like the other rack better, but the double shovels shovels definitely drive the score up quite a lot. So that's a pretty nice one. Let's see if we can find an even bigger one. Oh, he just missed the heart there. Look at that shot. Any lower and I would have missed them all together. Okay, we have a couple really nice caribou. They are side by side, both level four. One goes to 374, the other goes to 410. Now I'm gonna use the Zarza 308 and see if I can take both of them down. Now hopefully the guy in front, as soon as I shoot him, he disappears and gives me the opportunity to take down the one behind him. And there's a female lodged in there as well. Okay, okay, dog, I need you to beat it. How would you like to sit on your butt? Thank you. Okay, here we go. I think I got them both. Pretty sure. Let's have a look at the hunting pressure. I think that's double. I hope it's double. And we do appear to have two vital blood splatters. So I think we got them both. We did. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. Double shovels. He's pretty nice on the side closest to me, but the backside, not so nice. And that is not the greatest of scores. 321. He barely makes gold. He's 10 points above gold. So this spindly side definitely does not help. Let's have a look at the other one. And this guy. Oh, this side is really nice. And this side, not so much. But 362. I love looking at the different racks for caribou. So much much fun to do. So this is where we are. These lakes are really good for caribou. We're going to head back out here and work our way down. Okay, we have a pretty nice big herd of yes. <laughs> Uh, there's a level five. I was gonna say there's a pretty nice herd of caribou and it's even better than I thought. We do have a beautiful level five, 367 to 446. Now, just because this guy is absolutely beautiful, I'm gonna get as close to him as I possibly can. Now, I know caribous are terrible trolls, so as beautiful as his rack looks to me right now, he could very well be a troll. Now, the muzzle loader here zeroes in at 100, 150, and 200 meters. So we're gonna be perfectly zeroed and I'm gonna see See if I can get up to 100 meters. So where we are, we are on the river right down here. We came out of the Riverbend Rest Outpost and we went east. Man, is he ever stunning. Look at that. Oh, he's beautiful. You don't see diamond caribou very often. I don't even know if he is a diamond, but even level fives are not that easy to find. All right, I'm gonna go prone because I'm getting pretty close, but luckily we do have a pretty awesome wind and I don't have my dog with me, shockingly. So that's good. Now, normally I don't worry about having my dog with me unless I get very, very close to animals. That's when they can spook them. Okay, I'm gonna call him because I don't love this angle. Our buddy, the five here is completely deaf. Dude, listen. You hear the Harlequins? Dude, do you hear me? <laughs> None of them. They're just so thirsty. They just can't hear a thing. Drinking takes a lot of concentration, apparently. Hello? Does this thing work? Apparently not. Well, I don't like that angle. I, I pro, oh, 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 he's turning. Is he? No, he's turning his head. No, come on, my buddy. I might have to stand to get his attention. I don't really want to get any closer than 100 meters just because I want to be perfectly zeroed. So dude, do you see me? I'm 97 meters from you. Hello? Okay. What if I do this? These guys' attention, but the five, not so much. This is insane. Okay, now he's attentive. Is he gonna move? Oh, he's got a bodyguard. 
Okay, he has finally turned. And now he's coming into the call. Yes. Okay. Zero to a hundred. Oh, I don't like this glitching stuff. Man, they are squished together and they are close. 85 meters. Move, you. Come on, step out, my buddy. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna take it. What happened? Ah, he is down. We got him. I couldn't tell, but now I see he is down. Yes. I took a little bit of patience and we did get a vital. There's the vital blood splatter and he is absolutely stunning. Look at that rack. The question is, is he actually going to make diamond? Okay, my bud, you can do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Oh. <laughs> A troll? Of course he's a troll. Well, part of the problem is he is not symmetrical when they are symmetrical. Not that they can't make it when they're not symmetrical. They can, but they have a much better chance of making it when they are symmetrical and when they have double shovels. Like, it's not a requirement. It definitely does help. So he is definitely wonky, just not big enough. But we got a double lung liver shot. Pretty sweet shot. The penetration was pretty awesome. Just unfortunately, he is just not big enough. So what are you going to do? We'll take a photo of him. Actually, I'm going to taxi him. He is still pretty darn stunning. So he is a full 32 points. 32 points off a diamond. That's a lot. Well, we will have to continue looking. So I'm not sure quite what is going on with the caribou right now. They are definitely frozen. Now, I definitely could obliterate all of them, but it's going to take a while with the muzzle loader. Let's see if they spook. I guess I should reload. This will only take about an hour and a half. I'll be right back. Okay, we are finally reloaded. We're going to take one down. Splat. And now we're going to use the Zarza and finish the rest off. Take a little paycheck. Hey, where are you going? Splat. I think one might have escaped, but that is what you call a big stack of splattered caribou. And each one is going to pay us close to $1,000. Hey, I didn't glitch them out. That's just what I found. And for all the money that I've spent on changing the time to get my animals to come into their zones, I'll take a little cash once in a while. Sweet. Not bad. Now look at the hunting pressure. Oops. <laughs> all right. Let's actually go hunt some more caribou. Guys, what is happening on this map? I wish I had a bow on me. I'm literally 10 feet away from these frozen grizzly bears. What? Well, one second while I reload my muzzle loader. <laughs> this is insane. How you doing, my buddy? This is pretty close. <laughs> And splat. Still reloading. I certainly hope everything on the map isn't frozen like this because that's definitely going to take away from the challenge, which is what makes it fun. But since they're standing here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That scared me. And <gasps> hey, this girl's really gonna kill me. And she is gonna go splat and she is down. Okay, well, $1,108 for her. And for our buddy here, $1,467, not bad. And the grizzly bears are so cool. All right, we need to find a much bigger one. Any level threes up here? Oh my gosh, that is a lot of ducks. I love the sound they make. Jeez, they're landing right in front of me. What? I don't have my shotgun on me either. And splat. And splat. We got a couple. Man, not easy. They don't pay a lot, but they do add up. $351 for a female Harlequin duck. And 372. Well, putting a little bit of hunting pressure on the map. Okay, we have a flock of harlequin ducks here and this one here any level two that has a trophy range of six to seven is diamond potential so i'm gonna try and take them with the catchatory shotgun i'm going to get as close as i can so we can take out as many as we can but the diamond potential one is the most important and he is alert so i think i better take him dude drop okay we definitely got the one that could Probably won't, but could make diamond. How you doing, my dude? Oh, we have a 
piebald. That is sweet. Now they aren't rare, but they are very pretty, very cool. And he was a big one. 6.91 and 7.23 is diamond. Well, that is unfortunate. I kind of wish they were rare, but I think the only duck where piebald is rare is green wing teal, if I'm not mistaken. And every other piebald duck in the game is not rare, but I'll take a photo nonetheless. Did I get any else? I got this one, dark brown female. As she was starting to take off, they are very pretty. I find the Harlequins are one of the prettiest ducks in the game and the albinos are just stunning. And they are fairly common diamonds, so let's keep looking and see if we can find a level three. Okay, I changed the time to 2100 grizzly bears drink from 20 to zero and instantly I have a couple bears right here. So we are up at the top middle two lakes and both of these are absolutely amazing for grizzly bears. They didn't used to be, but they definitely are now. So because there's two of them, I'm gonna use the 300 and see if I can take them both. Here we go. Didn't get the four. I got him. I led the shot enough. Well, I think I did. Oh, this glitching around water is very annoying. Oh, and there's a level six coming in. He's alert. I think I need to reload. Come on, reload fast, faster. It's 250 meters away. All right, so we just need to aim a little higher. Hope he's still there. He is, and he's slowly walking in. Maybe I should just be patient for a minute. I tell you, there are piles of grizzlies up here. Now, I personally would love to see a grizzly great one. That would be very sweet. Maybe we'll take this one with the muzzle loader. Now, he is 200 meters. I'm going for gold. Here we go. Oh, okay. It's giving me a beautiful broadside. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Give me the 300. I'm trying to cycle over. Actually, I think we got him. I think we got him. Though I can't see him. <laughs> Maybe he already went splat. Maybe. Let's. Now he did. We got him. Okay. Better start the reloading process. Maybe it'll be finished reloading by my next birthday. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Look over here. We have a level one, a level six, and a level seven. Where are you going, my dude? Where the heck is he going? He's got a hot date or something. Maybe he's like, I don't like you. I'm going to a different drinking zone. Well, he's pretty far. Okay. Grizzly number one is a level two, $1,230 for a level two. That's pretty sweet. Beauty. Now, most of these zones usually have a male and a female. I'm just curious where this guy's going. I'm gonna try and shoot him. Not with the muzzle loader, with the 300, because he is way, way over there. Way over there. Jeez, I don't have the night vision scope, and he may have gone out of render. I don't see him. You rang my dude this way? Thank you. Okay, and that is our level four. Oh, we put three shots in. Okay, the first one was spine. The second one was a butt shot and I didn't get a vital on any of them. So we're going to call that an epic fail, but it was a level four. So who really cares? I'm going for a really, really long shot. Man, he does not want to stop running and he's at outer render. Jeez, that's what you call a far shot. Oh, 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 dude. <laughs> Oh, that was what you call a very fast splat. I didn't even spot it, but we did get <laughs> a left lung heart and liver and stomach shot from 12.07 meters. And look at the penetration. That was pretty sweet. And this is our level six. He is a silver and we did just get a vital. We got liver. Oh, a little far back on that. So I was lucky to make that shot, but hunting grizzlies is very fun. I really want to grab that seven. There's a three, there's a one. All right, we're going to take the six. Okay, see how we do. Now it does take longer for them to drop. I don't think it's dropping. No, it's not. Oh, he turned and deked me out. No, I don't think we're going to. Oh, I do have one shot left. Nope, a swing and a miss. That's all right. Now let's see if we can find that seven. I'm creating a little bit of hunting pressure here. Oh, there's my buddy, the seven. Unfortunately, he is giving me a perfect butt shot. Well, what we can do, oh geez, there's a six and a seven. I will try the 22 trick, see if we can get him to turn around. So we actually have three grizzlies here. Okay, let's try the 22 trick. So basically, there he is. I want him to turn. We have his attention, beautiful. Now their heart is basically between their shoulders, really high up in their body when they stand. And I should have taken the shot. Now he's going for a little walk and being very aggravating. Okay, he's calm again. I'm gonna try again. I can probably get that. That's a female yelling at me. Okay. We got him. 
I don't know what happened there, but we definitely got the seven. Now I know another really great spot for grizzlies is the top of the Brightwater Flats. So we are heading there next. Oh my gosh, I just came right out of my tent and there is a nine legendary right there. You have got to be kidding me. It's disappearing fast and we have the worst wind possible. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, we're gonna have to come in from the top because tracking him is going to be a very frustrating venture. Okay guys, so I put a tent here so that I have a perfect wind coming in. I left the game and came back, so that just refreshes the map. So hopefully our nine legendary is in his zone. Hopefully, let's go see. So I dropped the tent 250 meters away. So that is the perfect distance so as not to spook him out of his zone. But man, it is thick, very thick. Now I don't see anything yet. Okay, he does not seem to be here, which is very, very unfortunate. So this is where patience comes in, I guess. The problem is I could be blocking him from coming into his zone because of my wind. So I think I'm just gonna wait and hope he shows up. And if not, we will have to leave and try something else. I'm just gonna see if he's there first. That's a moose. Dude. Beat it. Oh my gosh, there are so many moose in this area, it's crazy. Maybe one of these days I'll do a moose grind in Yukon if I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> there it is. I found it. Yes. There it is. Okay, this is beautiful. He's 143 meters. Now my muzzle loader zeroes right to 150. How perfect is that? Okay, I'm gonna take him. We got him! We definitely got him! He is going down! Oh yes! And splat! Man, I have found so many trophies in this area of the Brightwater Flats, so I always have a lot of tents around here. There's his blood, and there he is! Here he is! Yes! How you doing? How you doing, my buddy? Oh, grizzlies are so sweet! And we do have a diamond grizzly. Yes, he's not a huge one, but a diamond is a diamond. We will definitely take him all day long. 67.49, he is just above 0.5 above diamond. And that was a beautiful right long shot. 152.55 meters with the muzzle loader. I love their claws, aren't they awesome? I hope we have a great one grizzly in the game sooner than later, but we will definitely taxi him. And this is where we shot him. Right at the top of the bright water flats. The key word for today's video is monster grizzly. Thank you guys so much for watching. To learn absolutely everything about hunting in Yukon, click here for the Yukon Super Guide.